Hi guys, this is Pete, N6QW, and I want to share with you uh, one of my latest projects here is the addition of a N4YG uh, DDS system to the Tentec Omni-D. Uh, the Omni-D uses a uh, 5 megahertz uh, VFO and with a series of heterodyne crystals puts it on uh, various bands. Essentially what the N4YG DDS does is replace uh, the PTO so that it gives you some additional functionality. The first of is a very stable signal. The Omni-D is a pretty nice transceiver, uh, vintage 1979-1980, and the only problem with it is a drifting PTO. And of course, um, many uh, uh, of, of Tintec owners have experienced rebuilding a PTO. That's one of the weak spots of the early transceivers. So uh, the goal here is to essentially bypass the internal PTO of the Omni-D, and that's very easily facilitated. There's a jumper plug on the back of the Omni-D where you simply pull the plug and the uh, PTO is no longer connected to the radio. And this was uh, included as a uh, optional feature so that you could operate a remote VFO. And essentially the, um, uh, the N4YG, which is this unit right here that I'm pointing to, the N4YG DDS, which has been built into a uh, power supply case that used to handle uh, the uh, 262G, which was a combination box and power supply for uh, some of the earlier transceivers, I think the Triton uh, 4 series. And uh, I had the case and I simply uh, built the, uh, the functionality in there. As a matter of fact, I didn't have to drill any panel holes. And um, let me just give you a quick tour here of the front panel. <clears throat> Essentially, uh, this upper lead uh, indicates it's VFO-A. So uh, you get one VFO. The lower lead is VFOB, so essentially you get two VFOs out of this and, and, and therefore it doesn't require the remote VFO. And the third lead shows a split operation so that you can either operate it on VFOA, VFOB, or uh, operate them split, which is a very nice functionality. Again, this is Pete, uh, N6QW, demonstrating the uh, N4YG DDS, which has been added to the Tentec Omni-D. This button right here is the mode switch, which lets you toggle between VFOA, VFOB, or uh, the split operation. And this knob here is the, uh, is the RAT control. Now, uh, there are many, uh, many modes of operation here. One of the things that's so nice about this uh, that's not typical of some of the DDSs is, is that... Uh, essentially where you leave the radio yesterday and turn it back on it's on the same frequency so uh, very very nice indeed I have uh, operated the radio on uh, 40 meters and I um, because I just got this box built yesterday in order to use the uh, Tentec case I had to uh, build a front panel on it a little extruded portion from the uh, normal case and that's uh, uh, this little sub panel is attached with four screws and spacers and the reason is the front of the uh, 262G was uh, uh, arranged for speakers, so there's large cutouts in the front of the panel, and it's not uh, very easy to mount the uh, optical encoder. So with this small little protrusion here, uh, and it sort of sticks up, gives it kind of nice functionality, uh, the optical encoder is mounted right behind that. I'm going to tilt the uh, camera here a little bit so that you can see inside uh, the DDS, and that's the... Uh, DDS board right there. It's a board about three by three inches, and it's got a, a PIC uh, 16F877 that, that's doing all the heavy lifting. And uh, just to kind of keep things uh, pure Tentec, uh, this is a Tentec knob here that came off of a uh, Omni 6 Plus, and this is a uh, Tentec knob that came off of an Argosy. So uh, tuning the radio, uh, that's another feature. It has variable rate tuning, so if you tune the, the VFO or the uh, DDS slow, uh, the frequency changes slowly, and that you can see right here. Let me turn the volume up a little bit, and you'll see it's uh, standard tuning. If you tune it very fast, we just went 200 kilohertz, so this is very nice. You can sneak up on a signal if you want a QSY between... Um, say the CW portion of the band and the uh, uh, phone portion of the band just spin the knob up and it'll take you right there so very nice functionality 
and uh, we like it very much. Uh, it's very accurate, uh, very stable. I've, uh, I'll set it on a frequency, come back about five or six hours later, and it's still on the same frequency. So uh, again, you can operate, um, you can operate uh, one VFO, a second VFO, or you can operate split. So it's a very, very nice functionality. So let, let's tune around here. Very nice indeed. We're down in the CW portion of the band. Very accurate. Again, this is uh, Pete N6QW demonstrating the N4 YG DDS uh, system that has been installed on a Tentec Omni D. Uh, again, there's only three connections that you need to make. Uh, there's an auxiliary 12 volt uh, uh, port on the back of the uh, Omni D, which you can plug into that, supply power for the, the DDS. You must pick up one of the R lines, that's the receive line, and then the other is the uh, RF input. So, uh, and not much in terms of interface, you don't have to do uh, much to the radio. So, those of you that are concerned about uh, building this internally and all that you'd have to go through, just pull the plug. Uh, hook up the DR line, hooked up to a source of 12 volts, and plug into the RF input, and you're there. So it uh, makes it very, very easy. So I'm going to shift to uh, VFOB, and there it is on VFOB. And now back to VFOA. And there we are split. Now watch uh, what happens to the display. It's on 153, and it goes to 111. 150, well, you wouldn't operate there, but anyway, you can see the split operation. And you can split uh, between B and A, or A and B, which makes it kind of nice. So you do the reverse split. So um, the kit is not inexpensive, but uh, I should tell you that um, I only uh, paid $90 uh, for the uh, Omni D here, and, and it was such a deal. And uh, for about $300 total, uh, you can be in business and have a really nice radio. And uh, I have some accessory filters for this, and I'm going to put the 500 hertz uh, CW filter in there. And with the exception of the fact it doesn't have DDS and it, uh, it can be put on some of the work bands. It does receive 30 meters, but uh, there's some modifications that let you transmit on 30 meters. And it has one auxiliary band. They don't recommend the um, uh, 17 meters, but certainly 12 meters could be added to this. And 10 tech sold kits. Uh, the kits are no longer available, so you'd have to gather up the parts and do the mods yourself. So uh, very nice indeed. We, uh, we think this is a good addition and gives you a really nice uh, functionality with the uh, Omni-D, very stable signal. And I didn't run into any, pr any problems. So my thanks to Joe, N4YG, great product, Joe. This is N6QW uh, completing the video here.